And the snow has been relentless in the Sierra. Folks are having to dig their way out as they prepare for another storm, bringing rain and snow. In Nevada City, a roof collapsed at a school gym. ABC 10's Alicia Machado has a closer look at the damage and how locals are preparing for the next weather system. Well, this is what's left of the gymnasium here at Echo Ridge Christian School in Nevada City. The weight of all the snow that's accumulated here just too much for the roof. It collapsed over the weekend. Thankfully, no one was inside. It's hard to tell what once stood here at Echo Ridge Christian School. Their gymnasium destroyed over the weekend when the roof collapsed, leaving behind a mess to clean up. It's surprising and devastating to, to see just how much damage there was. Vice Principal Louise Pryor showed ABC 10 a closer look at the damage. The building, built in the 1960s, was a hub for many school activities, including PE, cooking classes, lunchtime, and even music classes. Two pianos destroyed in the collapse. Before this, the school also opening its doors to the community. We rent it out for uh, church groups and soccer groups and all kinds of things, which really helps our little small school here. And um, not having it is going to make a huge impact. We're standing in the kitchen of the building, and you can see from here that the gymnasium is a total loss. But still, the administration is hoping to rebuild. Certainly hope that there's something that will help us get back in shape soon because the people in the community who rely on this school um, are really going to be hurting. And they're not the only ones dealing with the aftermath of California's winter storms. Resident Kathy Daugherty sharing these photos with me of a building that collapsed near the Nevada County Airport. Locals like Bill Fox digging up the snow to prepare for another storm. I was called from the food bank today, spent hours up there, about four of us working on the roof and making trails so the water when it starts melting has a, a way to go you know so it wouldn't be so heavy and hopefully it doesn't because that rain's going to make it very heavy the gym is located in a separate building from the main school so none of the classrooms were damaged students will be able to return to school during the assessment and rebuilding period our Alicia Machado reporting the school is asking for help from the community to rebuild the gym and we have a link to where you can help on our website abc10.com.